Hey guys, um, today I'm going to talk about something pretty common that uh, actually is so common that uh, most of the time people overlook it or don't even think about talking about it, and that is the uh, CMOS battery for your motherboard. Um, as most of you know, there is a battery inside your motherboard that uh, retains all the information from your BIOS, so if you shut it off, unplug it, put it in the closet for a couple months, come back, um, turn it back on, it remembers all the settings in the BIOS that you had. Uh, without that, it would just go back to its defaults every time you started it up, and you'd have to go in and tell it what drive to boot from, uh, you know, different memory settings, uh, whatever changes you might do in your BIOS. Uh, that's also a good uh, time to change your battery is when you notice that things in your BIOS are going back to the defaults. Uh, sometimes your clock will change on you and you'll, you'll keep changing it and it, it doesn't keep time. That can be a sign that the battery is weak or bad. Another is when you start it up and it keeps asking you if you want to go into your setup because it is defaulting back to the uh, factory defaults and, and wants you to change the settings. That's what's actually happening on this particular board is uh, not every time I turn it on, but maybe every five or six times I turn it on, it'll want me to go into setup and change it and it loses my memory timings, uh, my boot order, stuff like that. So we're, we picked up a new battery for it. We're going to put it in. Um, if you don't know where to find what kind of battery you have, most of the time in the user manuals themselves, they'll tell you what the battery is. This particular one has a diagram that shows you the uh, picture of the battery in it, and it says the number on it. If you don't have the manual or you can't find it off the website, all you have to do is pull your old battery out. The numbers are on it. You just take that into the store with you, and uh, they'll be able to give you a replacement for it. They're really fairly common. They're just a like a wristwatch type battery. This particular one I got at the hardware store. But I know, uh, like our drugstore carries them, grocery stores carry them, uh, jewelry stores have them, hardware stores, they're, they're really quite common. I paid $2.99 for this one, plus tax, so they're roughly around $3, depending on which battery you have. Um, so not a big expenditure to replace them. And now on this particular board, they, they put the battery down underneath the video card. Uh, generally, a battery is somewhere in the lower region on your motherboard, and it's some, going to be somewhere usually close to where your CMOS jumper is. Uh, in this case, we're going to have to pull the video card out just to get at the battery, so I'm going to shut this down for a minute and get that card out of our way. Okay, we have the video card out of the way, and as you can see, here's our battery. Um, there's a little lever on them that you just push over, and the battery will pop up. It's kind of spring-loaded see if I can manage to do this with one hand or not. Well, maybe with the screwdriver. There we go. And now that fell into my fan. So <laughs> we're going to have to dig that out. <laughs> okay, we dug it out of the fan now. Um, this is our new one here. Your positive is the shiny one with the letters that's facing you. The uh, negative side of it is just kind of plain and blurry. I don't know if this will pick it up or not. Uh, basically, when you put the battery in, you always want the numbers to face you. The positive part is going to be facing you, and you just put it in the opposite of how you uh, popped it out there. Just stick the one corner or edge in there and push it in, and it'll lock right into place. Now we're ready to put our video card in and start it back up. Uh, when you do start it up for the first time, it is going to tell you to go into the defaults because now that we pulled the battery out, we've removed any memory that it's had. So uh, we'll have to go into our BIOS and reset our settings to whatever we want them. But these batteries generally will last for a few years. Uh, this particular one was only in here for about a year which kind of surprises me. I don't know if there was uh, something with the board that's draining on them harder than they should, but I've had some of them that have lasted for many years, and there's some of them that uh, don't last that long, I guess depending on what the BIOS and the motherboard 
what the draw is or demand on the battery will drain them faster or kill them faster but for three dollars it's probably worth it to put one in every year when you open up your case to blow it out or when you're doing some maintenance on your computer would be a good time to change them okay I'm gonna shut this off and put the video card back in okay I have it all put back together got the video card back in covers on figured while I had it apart would be a good time to blow it out and uh, clean the case and stuff Might as well while we're in there so I'm gonna plug it in now and show you what it'll do when you start up okay we got it all wired back up I'm gonna turn around here make it out it'll say press F1 to continue or delete to enter setup CMOS checksum error defaults loaded uh, that just means it all went back to the defaults and now we can go into the BIOS and change our settings and uh, put the boot order and stuff the way we want and now when we save it it should save it and reboot to that every time but uh, I know it's a simple little tip but something that uh, maybe a few people don't know so I thought I would do a video on it, but uh, thanks for watching.